Ah, hello. So today we're looking at uh, inverse and composite functions. So this is something we'll see at GCSE. Um, the chances are with the extended math certificate, the, the expressions are going to be a bit more complex and a bit more challenging for us. So let's have a look here. We've been given three different functions. We've been given f of x, g of x, and h of x. And the first question is asking us to find the inverse of the function g. So a standard method to do this is we'll write this as y equals... And then what we'll look to do is change the subject of the equation to x equals. So first step here is going to be by multiplying by the denominator. So we're going to get um, y lots of 4x minus 9 is equal to 2x minus 3. Expand the bracket. So that will give me 4xy minus 9y is equal to 2x minus 3. Now what I want is all the x terms on one side and anything else on the other. So that's one of the terms I want. So the x terms that I want to have together, the 4xy and the 2x, and then the other terms on the opposite side. So I'm going to subtract 2x, and I'm going to add 9y. So I get 4xy subtract 2x is equal to 9y subtract 3. I can then factorise the left-hand side to take out the factor of x, so we will get x into 4y minus 2, 9y minus 3. And then the final step to divide by the expression in the bracket. Um, 4y minus 2. Now it wants it um, the inverse function of x, so it needs to be in terms of x. So now we'll just change the variable back will give me 9x subtract 3, 4x subtract 2, and we're done.